Welcome back to my little tub. Um, today's gonna be a vloggy vlog. Um, today is September. Hey, Mrs. Is that September. What's today's date? March 27, 2021. Um, so today we're gonna have my grandfather's funeral, the Ghanaian version of funerals. <laughs> I know that some people don't understand how funerals work, so I thought that today would be a good day to do a vlog. Um, so the the funeral today is from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. because the COVID time has been cut in half. Normally, Ghanaian funerals will run from like what eight o'clock to two in the morning. So yeah, but show y'all around the cooking. Not I didn't do any cooking because you know I'm in school. But the cooking that my mom and my aunts did, um, the place where we're gonna have the funeral, my fit. And all the other stuff, educate y'all on how Guardian Funerals work. But before I get into the vloggy vlog, make sure you click the subscription box below. Ring that bell to receive notification whenever I post. And yeah, let's get into it. Oh, her eyes look great. Oh, hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe, Zoe. Okay, anyways. For the past couple of days, we've been preparing for the funeral. So as Ghanians, we make these chips, which we made out of dough and peanuts, and then you put them in the containers. Um, yeah, we call them chips, even though they're not chips. But yeah, here's the kitchen. It's a mess. Um, meats. Ghanians love meats. I don't know why. Who got meats? Um, yeah, my mom and fish. And we're also going to have like a little like get together after the Sunday service. Um, some soup. The kitchen really is a mess, so please ignore it. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Anyways, we have a stove aside where we also made some spicy sauce called shito. Yeah. Okay, so as most of y'all know, um, well, some of y'all know, I actually share a room with another lady. So she's coming back today, so my room is kind of different. So there's two beds instead of one. So my bed before is like stacked up. All four mattresses stacked up, but now she's coming back. Um, let me educate y'all on funeral Ghanaian funerals. So, for Af well, specifically, I know Ghanaian funerals are like this, but um, what we do, depending on the time that the person has passed away, so past 75 is a celebration of life because they were able to live to like the natural like age thing. So, because of it, like if they naturally passed away as, as well. Because of that, we wear black and white. This is my fit. Yes. Oh, all of these are made by my mom, by the way. So if y'all want to book her, go right ahead. Um, yeah, I have a Sunday one, and then I have a Saturday one. But yeah. So as I was saying, when a person naturally dies past the age of seventy-five, either in their sleep or um, they've been sick for a long time, but it was like as if they're old, so it's okay. Um, they wear black and white as a celebration of life. However, when the person dies before the age of 75, or if, they die, if they're the first one, wait, hold up. Yeah, if they, if they die before the age of 75, or they died unnaturally like through a, a serious sickness, and they're not old, or they died by an accident or got shot or whatever, that's when you wear black and red. The only exception to this rule is if you're the first child to die in the family, meaning that, um, so if my brother dies, because he's the oldest, he, we wore black and white, even if he died unnaturally, because he's the first, the first kid in his family. So yeah, my grandfather, he actually died two years ago of a natural death, and um, yeah, he was 84, he was born September 30th and died July something, it was in 2018, but because of COVID, we had to postpone the funeral. 2018? 2019. 2019. Um, but because of COVID, we have to postpone the funeral, so now we're having it. So, yeah. So, the my grandfather passed away on my dad's side, so it's my dad's dad. Um, traditionally, 
the person who, who's like the main mourner would be my dad because his rest of the family and stuff are in Ghana and they already had the funeral ready. So it's like my dad's, they're taking my dad's turn to do the funeral here in the United States. So when people first enter the hall where we're having the funeral, they come and the first thing they do is that they have to greet the people at the high table. Um, the high table meaning that that's the main, the chief mourners, the people who are supporting my dad in this funeral. So they go, they have to greet, shake everybody's hand, and then that's when they're able to go and sit down. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Yep, they sit there, and then um, after a majority of people are there, that's when the whole family, the people, the chief mourners at the high table get up, and then they start dancing with a huge picture of my grandfather. Um, we dance around with the picture, and yeah, after that, everybody sits down. Once everybody sits down, there's it's typically the children of the... Either the children or the grandchildren, depending on how they want to do it. The children of the grandchildren goes up and they read an obituary of uh, my grandfather and then read out his bio, bio the, the, his biography. So um, the things he did from the time he was born to the time he passed away, all the things he did in between. I think it's going to be my sister because she, she likes, the way she reads is actually kind of nice. But um, yeah, they do that. And then afterwards, it's just like everybody gets up and dance and greet the family and whatever. And towards the end of the funeral, that's when um, the family members or the woman of the family of the chief mourner. So my mom, my aunts, me, me, my sisters, we go, we stand in front of everybody and we thank them for coming to the funeral. And we give them the party favor, well, not party favor, a funeral favor. <laughs> it's not a party. But um, yeah, and typically it's handkerchiefs. I don't know what we got. I think it's pens, but I don't know. Um, we thank them and then we give them out. Uh, Africans like to give out money. So it's like um, as a gift or like condolences, there's typically a person at the door who collects money and that money goes towards funeral expenses. So like the beer, beer I can't say that's burial of my grandfather, the funeral cost, the the food cost, and whatever. And then Sunday is the Sunday service. Basically, we go to church. We um, we're Catholic. Well, everybody in the family is Catholic except for my mom. Um, we go to church. Uh, we ask for mass, and then we pray over like the Thanksgiving service. And yeah, now afterwards we're gonna have a little party. I call it a party because Africans don't know how to control themselves when it comes to celebrations like this or events like this. No matter what it is, funeral, christening, birthday party, anything, it's always ending up to be a big party. So there's going to be a lot of adults here. I'm going to be serving most of the time because as like the oldest female, I serve along with my sister. And yeah. So it's going to be a quick vloggy, 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 vlog and show y'all how it is, how the hall is decorated and all the other stuff. My fit. Kind of look like a bum right now, but uh, <laughs> I gotta glow up. But yeah, let's get. As I was saying, y'all should definitely put my mom. She legit. Yeah, she made all these. So. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So like I was saying, um, this is typically like like the black and red. If the person died naturally before their time. And they could be like sewn into different types of styles, but the one that we're going for is black and white. I believe this is my sister's. But yeah. Listen, see, we've been running out of breakfast food lately and we haven't gotten time to go shopping, so. <laughs> okay, so the upstairs is clean, completely clean as y'all saw. Clean the bathroom, kitchen, living room, all set. Now it's time for downstairs, but I think that we're gonna do that tomorrow because people are not gonna come here today, hopefully. And yeah, probably get ready now, or at least start to redo my hair, bath, makeup, all the other stuff. Um, and then when my mom comes back, we have to go finish up packing like the goodie bags, um, putting meat in the containers and all that other stuff. Um, as of now, the lady is back and my sister is back. So yeah, full house. Hey, she didn't find the bed.
packing all the stuff um we're now getting ready for the actual funeral i'm gonna go take a shower do my hair makeup um clean up my room a bit because it's kind of like a like mess and yeah i'll see you guys there simple because you know we gotta be serving but we are on our way oh this guy looks nice we are on our way to the location of the funeral a little bit late but you know got hands but we'll be there soon you're bringing the ipod yeah Okay guys, we're in the back area of the church um, with the goodie bags. This is where I'm gonna be most of the time because you know how these African ladies, they think that you didn't give them anything but you did and then they pretend to hide it and then they act as if like, they didn't get it at all. So, <laughs> I'm keeping guarding the kitchen. Um, it is 5.25, the funeral started at four o'clock. We were here by 4.01 exactly because you know, I don't run on that Ghanaian time. But yep, yeah, we're here, um, yeah. Just waiting for a bit to serve. Yeah, and we have these like custom made water bottles, which are pretty cool. Not of you. Custom made? You just put a sticker on top of it. I mean, but still. Joseph Casey could just ending. Rest in peace, Grandpa. But yeah.
behind me. 9.41 a.m. Gatridge. And then some of this after. It's a fresh saucy. Church is over. Um, you know, guardians are all at my house now on the basement. So eating real quick and then I have to serve for the rest of the time. But I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. I hope it was educational. Y'all understand how guiding funerals work. Um yeah, rest in peace, granted, and I hope y'all have a good day. Bye.